Hey everybody, it's Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. You know, today the Oscar nominations came out. And listen, despite Taraji P. Henson running around the streets, running her mouth and taking the attention away from the color purple, Danielle Brooks, remember, she was in that show, Orange is the New Black. She also did a stint on Broadway for the musical, The Color Purple. Well, listen, Girlfriend has been nominated for the Supporting Actress in The Color Purple. She's been nominated for an Oscar. I'm so happy for her. I'm so proud of her. And you know what? I guess I may have to take a peek. And when I say a peek, a peek at the Oscars this year because I'm so happy that she was nominated. Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. Screen. Come on, Danielle. Danielle Brooks on her Oscar nomination. She said, Look what God has done. The Color Purple supporting um, actress was nominated for a Tony for the role on Broadway. Still, she spent six months auditioning for the part in the movie. So, yeah, on Broadway, I saw her. Amazing. This girl got it. She got it. Gives me chills. It was 3.30 a.m. in New Zealand where the actress Daniel Brooks was filming a Minecraft movie, but she was wide awake. I'm alive and I'm an Oscar nominee today. She said on a video call minutes after the nominations were announced, I don't think I'll be able to go back to sleep. Brooks, a past Emmy nominee, Tony nominee, and Grammy winner who broke out in the Orange is the New Black is nominated for her first for supporting actress work in the movie musical, The Color Purple. Here's the film's sole nomination. She's the only one. She plays Sophia, an outspoken woman who knows her own worth and insists on her own autonomy. Quali um, qualities that make her a target of um, racialized violence. She first played the part on Broadway in 2015. In a defiant, exuberant turn, the New York Times likened to a homemade steamroller. Her film work is perhaps even more irresistible. Swapped in zebra um, print sleepwear, Brooks 34 discussed with occasional tears the joy of the nomination, the differences between theater and film, and how she learned to say hell no in her own life. These are edited excerpts from the conversation. How does it feel to be an Oscar nominee? It's like getting the MVP at the Super Bowl. Crazy. It's what I always just hoped and dreamed would happen. But for it to actually happen, I'm in shock. It's like what what it's like what it says in the color purple. Look what God has done. I love it. What did you learn from playing Sophia on Broadway? There was such an electricity in the theater. People just had to come and see the show. I felt so much pressure. It was playing Sophia, this strong woman who was so sure of herself that gave me the confidence every night when I sang hell no. To say hell no to my fears. She thought um, she taught me how to live in, in my power. Getting to do it on the screen, that's when I learned how to own my power. People assume that actors have all this confidence are just brave people, which we are, but we get to hide behind characters. Now I can stand 10 toes down and believe in my heart that I'm worthy of moments like this. Is that nice? It's like giving me chills. 
You were a Tony nominee for the Broadway performance. You won a Grammy, but I read that your audition process for the film took six months. Did you have to fight for the role? I did, but I came in with no ego because as much as I wanted to screen from the root side, screen from screen all those accolades, there was no reason for that because part of our job is to audition. I didn't want anyone to say that I was handed a role. I wasn't handed anything. I worked my butt off for that role for six months doing chemistry reads, recording songs, having meetings. I did whatever they asked me to do and it didn't miss me. The blessing didn't miss me. I'm grateful that I did remove ego because here we are today. Um, you know what? Say what you want, but that's kind of touching on the whole Taraji thing of saying, you know what? Uh, why, am I, why do I still have to audition? She's humble. She's grateful. And she's saying, you know what? It's a blessing and I'm embracing it, right? And here it is. Because I stay diligent, here's my reward, this nomination. How did making the film feel different? When I was doing it in the theater, all we had were wooden chairs and a wooden stage. So I used my imagination. But with this, I got all the elements I could ever want. I'm actually in the Georgian sun on a plantation. This That sets me right where I need to be. It was the biggest gift as an actor. And now today to be standing in this position, the only one from this movie to get nominated, I'm very humbled. I just feel like there are so many people I'm standing in for who are so deserving and have worked so hard. Every cast and crew member who was out there in the beating 90 degree weather, this is for them. I love it. Since she played Sophia in 2015, there's been a greater cultural focus on um, racialized violence. Did, the, did that influence your work? Sophia's radical... Um, Radical, Sophie is a radical woman. She's trying to break generational curses. She's trying to build her family. She's trying to build a home and get out of those norms, these norms we set for gender roles. That to me is a woman ahead of her time to have so much gumption to say, I'm not going to take no mess from nobody, no matter what shape, size, color, creed you are. I'm going to walk how I want to walk. This is so powerful. And that's what we need as women. We need examples of that in our storytelling for people to lean on. Since you played the role, do you become a mother, a wife? Did this in, did that in, um, inform this Sophia? It deepens the work. I now know truly what sacrifices it takes to be married and hold on to a relationship when the world is just fighting against Black love. I also know the sacrifice of bringing a child in this world. It takes a lot of work. When I um, play um, Beatrice and Much to Do Much to Do About Nothing, 2019 at Shakespeare in the Park, I was five months pregnant with my child. And that was the most freedom I ever had. Having her in my womb reminded me that I'm not alone. All I can do this, I all I can do this because now I have someone to do this for. When she was on the color purple set with me, it was the same. I'm not alone, and I have someone to do this for. Your big number is hell no. Speaking as a woman who apologizes preemptively for everything, I love this so much. I should apply its lesson more. Do you apply it in your life and your own life? Hell yeah. It's the greatest gift to honor what you want as a human being. As women, we apologize for everything, don't we though? Um, we walk by somebody in the elevator and we're like, oops, sorry. And we have no reason to say sorry. We are trained to be apologetic, to shrink ourselves, to say, oh, my presence shouldn't be in the room. That's so not true. We should be strutting around like Sophia and her sisters. Speak up for ourselves and stop apologizing. That's why I'm so grateful for Sophia. Every character gives you a gift when you play them. And that's what she's taught me. All I need is to validate myself. I don't need validation from anyone. I'm so grateful for that. But it has to come from me first. I'm so happy for her. She did the darn thing. Listen, I like I said, I saw her on Broadway and chills, chills. Um, and when I saw it on Broadway, um, Cynthia Erivo played um, Fantasia's role. And good gosh, she played silly. And all I can say is, oh my, that's that girl right there, Cynthia Erivo, she got chops on her. But Danielle Brooks, it's something so bubbly, um, just so light about her, just so like she brings you in. She brings you in. She just seems like she has that great personality. Listen, guys, 
chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. I'm so glad she was nominated. I'm so happy for her. I would love for her to win this Oscar. I will be watching. And I hope the Oscars doesn't have like a little taint on it um, because of everything that happened when Will Smith was there. But anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Listen, guys, are you happy for Danielle Brooks? Did you go see the color purple? Purple. Would you go see the color purple again? Listen, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Super, super proud of her.